Hey guys, it's Rishi once again, and today we're back with Hidden Words. This is one of your many 11 plus verbal reasoning topics, and today we'll be going through an in-depth introduction on how we can answer these questions in the most efficient timing. So let's go ahead and dive into this right away. So what are hidden words? Well, with this type of question, you are given a sentence in which a four letter word is hidden between two words. Now, the letters at the end of one word and the letters at the beginning of the next word make up a new four letter word. So what that means is we could be looking at the end of the and the beginning of dog. But that definitely doesn't give us a new word. So you are required to locate the pair of words that contain the hidden word. Now, as the hidden word is always a four letter word, it could be the last three letters and the first letter of a pair of word. So again, it could be the last three, which could be any D and the first of by. And once again, that doesn't give us an actual word. But a good strategy is to look at the whole sentence and see if the answer jumps out at you. If not, go through each pair of words systematically and look at the last three letters of each word and the first letter of the next word, and then move along one at a time and do this with each pair of words until you find the answer and you should be good to go. And what I've found is that some students find it easier to position their thumbs or fingers over the words so that they can only see four letters at a time. So with that being said, let's dive into this example here where it states, the dog was frightened by the noise. And they've given us four options here. So again, we've already gone through the dog so we can cross that out. And so as we can see here, we get a four letter word instantly, which is between the and noise. And that is then. So the last three letters and the first letter of noise. So if we take a look, the word then is hidden in the noise. So once again, if you must be questioning that, can we use the entire word? Well, if it is a three letter word or even a two letter word, you can use the entire word itself. As long as it is a four letter word overall, then you are good to go. I hope that was a clear introduction. Let's now dive into it right away. So we've got a four letter word, which is hidden between two words and then next to each other. So hidden between two words. This is the key information that you need to follow. So let's take a look at question one. Nothing frightens me more than being home alone. Hmm. So we now need to find the four letter word. So again, I'll go through the same step with the last three and the first one. That doesn't help. And just go through the same thing again and again. But what I do notice is that we have M-E and A-L. And that stands for meal. So home alone is the correct answer because meal is hidden between home and alone. And just to give you a quick fact, the movie Home Alone is listed in the Guinness World Records as the highest grossing live action comedy film ever. Alrighty, so that is that. Let's go for question number two. He was teasing me with the CD, holding the disc above his head and laughing. Right. So once again, let's take a look at the four letter word that is hidden below. And what I notice here is that we have disc and above. So what's so important about disc and above? Well, I see the word scab, S-C-A-B. And disgusting they may be, but scabs help us to heal by forming a barrier against infection. So again, I'll write down scab. Marvellous. Let's now go over to question three. And again, don't forget to pause the video, attempt the question yourself, and then press play when you're ready to go through it. What I'm working on here is to improve not only your attention to detail, but your ability to break down the words and find new words. Alrighty, so my favorite food for tea is cheese and meat omelette. Hmm, meat omelette. Well, that's quite interesting. So what I've noticed here is we've got 
atom, and that's your A T O M. So meat and omelette is our answer. So again, we can write down atom as our four letter word, and there we are. Okay, over to question number four. You only need to ask in this call and you will get help. Hmm. So if we take a look at the sentence here, I see the word skin. And that is between ask and in. And there we are. Skin is our answer. So I hope this has been a clear introduction. It will take you time to get used to these type of questions. But don't forget to use the tip that I've given you where you can either position your fingers or your thumbs over the words so you can only see four letters at a time. And the way I would do that is actually focus on the four letters first. So I'd start with this range of four letters. I would then go with O, U and O, N, followed by U, O, N and L. And I'd keep doing this. But in some cases, you might even notice that it can definitely not be any of the first two words. So you can move on to others, but try to work systematically, right? Look at the last three letters of each word and the first letter of the next word, and then move along one letter at a time. Okay, let's now go ahead and dive into question number five, six, seven, and eight. Pause the video here, attempt the questions, and then press play when you're ready to go. Okay, let's get started. So question number five. If you want to know real fame, show your photographs to a good agent. Righty. So this one I've instantly found out and the correct answer is fame and show. And that is because mesh is hidden between them. And that's M-E-S-H. Okay, question number six. My favorite type of magician is an escape artist. And for this one, we're gonna go for escape and artist. And that is because pair is hidden between them. And again, don't forget the most famous escape artist was Harry Houdini, known as the great Houdini. And, and one thing to note here as well, as we're finding these words, don't forget to note them down as part of your vocabulary. Search them up and write sentences with the words inside. That way, you'll not only learn the spellings, but you'll also remember the meanings. And that's hitting two birds with one stone. Alrighty, question seven. At last, after days of waiting, the chaffinch appeared at the bottom of the garden. Hmm, so let's take this. Hmm, so let's take a look at chaffinch. I wonder what that means. Well, the chaffinch, firstly, is the UK's second commonest breeding bird. So that's a good word of the day. Um, and the correct answer is actually chaffinch and appeared. The reason being is that we have CH and AP between them, which is chap. Okay, moving over to question eight. The boat drifted from the harbour despite being held by thin chains. And once again, I've got thin chains as my answer because it is hid hiding inch. So once again, so look at how I'm attempting these questions. I'm going for the last letters in a word and the beginning letters of the next word. Okay. Let's do nine and 10 together here, as they are our final questions. When he came on stage, he decided he would clap especially loudly. So where do you think the four letter hidden word lies? I'll give you a clue. It's an animal. Alrighty. The answer is clap and especially because we have apes in between. And there we are. And over to the final question. I like my tea stirred, not shaken. So this is quite an interesting sentence here because we've not only found one, but two answers here. And either of them are correct. So I'm gonna go with tea and stirred. And the two answers I've got here 
is the first four letters, which is T's, or the second set of four letters, which is East. So again, what we notice is T's and East are hidden between T and Sturd. And to finish off with a, with a fun fact, in the UK, we drink around 165 million cups of tea every day. Isn't that a lot? For sure. Alrighty, that brings us to the end of our topic. I hope this was a useful introduction to hidden words. Don't forget, our main aim was to locate the pair of words that contained the hidden word. And it's always a four letter word, which could be the last three letters and the first letter of a pair of words, or even the last two and the first two. So don't forget that there's more than one combination. Pick up a good strategy to look at the whole sentence and follow that. Like I said, systematically. Well, with that in mind, keep up the great work. Don't forget to comment and share our video if you found it useful. And if you have any questions, contact us right away. Keep up the great work and I'll see you in the next video.